carries, you've got the chance to support them in that way. And I don't know, it feels like to me, Wolf, that Top Esports is reaching a little bit with some of these picks, but definitely some interesting uh, picks to come out here. The R5 Ivern, not necessarily one that I was expecting. Oh. But yeah, as you mentioned, here comes Canyon level four. I feel like 369 should know this timing, but he is on the wrong side of the fight as he does have his flash. Will he even bother to use it is the question. That's a big shield, but uh, now he's gonna go for the flash. Lance that Q on a boat, that may be a chance, but no, it will be first blood over to Canyon on the cart. Of course, from this first mountain Drake as well. Hens wants to try to make a play here potentially, but there's just no angle. Yeah, I think he should have known, of course, 369, and Keen will say, okay, I'm, I'm good with that. One more turret shot would have been a huge as oh, meanwhile. Go. Yeah, that's going to be a lot, but that is into the Nautilus as, okay, that didn't hit anyone from Pace. As now the flash stun comes in, and Pace has to flash away as once again, Top Esports doing a huge amount of damage to the Genji bottom lane, looking to take down Pace, but they will not be able to. It's Mako, oh no! He is so low, and the Q comes through. Pace, he turns it around with the help of Canyon as they step just one step too close. That's my boy Canyon. He doesn't even have to be there to make an impact. Two kills going over. Pace doesn't use his cleanse either. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's doing something. He's already, he's like, I'm impacting bottom lane, I'm impacting top. And he's going to be able to help take away at least one of these grubs. As I don't know if Top Esports should really look to fight this Keen rotating over with the TP. Yeah, I mean, 369, he's just in there by himself. And yes, he is in the death chamber trying to take down the hens, and he should be able to. Can he be punished afterwards is the question. As a knockout comes through, the all out not ready though for Keen. And now a root comes down onto Keen. He's got a flash away. Way too many members here of Top Esports. They weren't expecting this much pressure as Cream. He's like, oh yeah, that's Cassandra. Changer bought a ton of time for top esports. Those additional stats he picked up after he took the hens out as well. And Keen, a bit far forward here. He is still Cassante. He might actually kill Mako, but no, it is just going to be the pull in from the Mordekaiser. And that is going to be a nice kill over them. I, I do think that Mako. Forward and poke, but there's just so many ways to shut him down, burst him down when you don't have that advantage. Your Felios isn't quite online yet. He was late to the party, decides to go mid. They will grab that Hextech Dragon. Both teams, if they could pick this one up. Turret, though, is going to go down here quickly. And this is why I'm on the Tristana side of the Tristana Corky, how quickly she can blow these up. Now, in return, Toby will get it done by himself. Had a bigger wave down there in the matchup against the play, but it is a really good macro read here from Gen.G, getting some additional damage done. Harold's going to be dropped, and Keen probably just going to have to use that second teleport I was mentioning here. If he walks down super slow, as we do have a fight up here, Kalahans, once again, in the death chamber, has to throw down that death charge. And it is going to delay enough so that 369 won't stick around, knowing that there is a big Genji presence in the top side of the map. But there's still this huge push down on the bottom side for top esports. They should be able to get this inner turret unless Keen can do something about it. Yeah, and Keen decides not to teleport to stop the outer push either. No rotation down as they try to make a play top side but fail. So, yes, Chovy gets one turret, but they get two out of the Herald. And they're really keeping this Genji. I, I, I do think that their front line on the top side, or rather, for top esports, not that great. Although this stun is going to be huge onto Canyon, he has to flash away, and now he's in a lot of trouble. He's just going to try to die here and throw down the Requiem, maybe, as there it is. It should be a lot of damage, but eventually the redemption comes that out. Outer down, there's no value to be found in a side lane. Can't even punish the lack of teleport here for 369, and once again, Top Esports play this painfully slow, but incredibly... Okay, we've got enough value here. Let's just go for it and take a look at the positioning right now of Kareem and Jackie Love. They're not here as the TP is available for Kareem, but will they actually go for it? It just comes down to a smite fight as it goes to the Corky. Toby will take it down, and now the fight going the way of Gen G is 369. He's got Lahens in the death chamber, will be able to take him down, and Mako is going in trying to open this one up, but he is being shredded down. But now a lot of low health bars here on the side of Gen G. We're looking for top esports to jump on in. Kareem looking for a bit more but they're only going to get the one kill for now. As, as long as they avoid the grab, that is going to do it. It is four Baron buffs. You just kind of leapfrog your way forward with these rushes, and if Genji can't see you, they can't hurt you. Here comes the Requiem. 
Yeah, just gonna throw that down. Already a nice amount of damage. Now they're engaging on the Mako, who does have to get away. This might does go to TN. So that's a second Ocean Drake now to the side of Top Esports. As 369 gets on the Tovi and puts him in the death chamber. And meanwhile, the fight is going on to Mako. So much damage into Leona, but that's amazing for Top Esports as Mako will survive. The trigger seed comes in for Jackie Love as he ease into the team and immediately dies. That is not what you want to see. Why from Jackie in? Love. Why in Jackie? Love, down he goes, pays at full health as they try to chase him down here. Meanwhile, Keen. They should be able to take down Keen. He is just way too low. The hands and pays being baited into this fight as well. Another hop comes forward, and Top Esports are winning this fight all the way. The shutdown goes to Cream, and that should be the Baron. Baron buffs out of this. Gen G, on the other hand, going to have to lick their runes, wounds and return. It looks like a good fight for Genji. Vision control they have here, control wards in every brush, and then they make their own brushes. So hard for Chovy to actually fight back here, has to back off, that's another turret down. Jackie Love pushing down this mid inner as well. Israel with the empowered W auto there is going to wreck it. Oh. Yeah, and right now Top Esports trying to collapse here onto Keen, who is quite tanky. But uh, I think with the amount of damage they have, it should be enough as he's just going to be caught out and down he goes. And Top Esports getting so much value out of this Baron buff. Still five seconds left. Wow. As this keeps being shown, and it is very important to note that with those Ivern brushes, it is very difficult to see exactly where Top Esports are. They got Daisy. <laughs> well, it's a blind hook, and they're going to find Mako. That is a lot of damage into the Leona as Mako is going to go down. Lahen's a second time going to hook the turret as now they're looking for a bit more. The Q3 is going to miss. That's the hook out of the Mordekaiser. That's now in the death chamber. Lahen's in a lot of trouble. But you see Toby, the rest of the team trying to get to the back line. It's not going to happen. And this Mordekaiser is insanely huge as they will also get the Cassante. And that is that front line that they were looking for. Pays is too low. Green is, Green is jumping in to the fight. He is jumping into the base, looking for the end of this game. And I think Top Esports will get it right here. I think they absolutely will. A dominant performance here. Requiem will delay the inevitable. Not even. Toby trying to do his best to clear this wave here. Cannon so alive. Good flash. Yeah, he is but trying to stay alive. I mean, this, this wave was not clear, though. And that is going <laughs> to be the end of it. As the wave even coming in from the bottom side, Top Esports a huge first game win going their direction in this best of three. And the beauty of it is, you know, saying, of, yeah, it, it's a lot of strong double AD carry comps that are available, but that, that's kind of like hearkening back to an old meta. I actually yeah. feel like the Braum is, is insane value into yeah. this comp. Like, it's just ridiculous. It's great into the way. It's Keen, but Keen is full health, so especially with exhaust, I think it might be difficult, but let's see how this one does go. Gold card held, and the exhaust not gonna be utilized. Just stuns the uh, rumble, but that is not gonna be enough, and Tien just tanks it up perfectly as first. And they have the push on bottom, so should be the Hextech Dragon going the way of top esports. Genji get three Void Grubs. As now Canyon, no flash. He's gonna get over the wall. 369 doesn't have flash himself, but Canyon in a very awkward spot. He does have ult available here, doesn't necessarily need it. Ooh, let's go gold card, but Canyon is just dead. Yeah, he, there's just no way to get out of there. Some odd gold that Toby is ahead, and he's not under any kill pressure, so he doesn't care. Uh oh, Toby, Meanwhile. no flash. He is just dead. Just gonna get Sejuani ulted to the face, and Lahens, nowhere for him to go either. He's got a flash himself, but the damage comes through in the First bomb picks up esports for the play. Yeah, it's it's just the it's the value of this composition shown very early on. I mean, speaking of, you, you get one pick. Toby's just dead again. I mean, there's nowhere for him to go. He doesn't have flash. Lahen's like, well, sorry, buddy, Can't, nothing I can do. I, I didn't block the arrow uh, earlier on about top esports just showing an incredible performance in game number one. I do agree. Uh, but here in game number two, Gen Z are also not having a great one as Lahens trying to get the flank here on a lot of Jackie Love, but he's just gonna pick up the kill and maybe he does go down. TP as well, like Jackie Love maybe saved here. Yeah, I mean, the kick should come out as Jackie Love will be in a lot of trouble. Can they trade anything back? Yeah, Lahens is gonna go down. This is still a one team fight for T uh, Top yes. Esports. Yeah, and uh, you know, Top Esports, incredible first game. But now they're playing an incredible second game. <laughs> they have so many duels to do it. Jackie Love, immediate cleanse. 
Very nice, Captain Jack himself. He's just gonna get out of there. The poke is coming down and Top Esports just weighing their options here. Now they're just gonna throw everything into the Leona. They take him down and that'll be huge as yes, the dragon does go the way of Gen G10. He's gonna flash away. Cream has to do so as well. And finally, Gen G do get something, but Top Esports, they didn't even have the rumble in this game for a very long time. And if at all. Yeah, I mean, we talked about how Top Esports, if they don't fall behind in lane, they just have the God comp and well, it's the god comp. <laughs> Just kind of sending it in. It's now Tian. Okay. Bit of a mistake. He's going to get in there. He is incredibly tanky. And you know what? He doesn't give a damn at all. As he is going to live through all the damage of the three members of Gen G. And he survives with 14 health. As he does get over the wall as well. I thought maybe he was going to die at the very end. His cream in a very rough spot does get shut down by bot lane. He's like, I'm just getting fed, guys. I have enough kills. You guys can maybe get some kills. It's now very nice game here on a Jackula, but the Braum trying desperately to hold the door. As the gold card does come down, Mako in a bit of trouble himself has to flash away. And finally, Genji do get one pick, but again, still very far behind. Looking for a bit more, trying to get this mid outer turret as yeah. Top Esports are pushing bot. Bottom They're eater here, go. going to go down. Meanwhile, they can't get the mid turret off of the pick. At least they're able to get the pick itself. As it does look like Mako is going to drive this straight into the turret. And his Braum should be totally fine here. And Tian over the wall, looking for an angle. Lahens only level seven. And again, they're going to get on top of Lahens, but they do dive under the turret, but it does not matter. The damage does not get traded by Gen G, as that is just going to be a dead. I mean, you have this much map control, you can just sit on Raptors. We've seen so many Sejuani's to this. Canyon's done it a million times. But you can see Leona. Right, he is able to get away without a scratch. And Top Esports, once again, it's just back to clearing vision, taking control over the Baron Pit. And you know what? Maybe it's just killing Lahenza along the way. Might just be able to do that under the turret as Lahenza's alone. He's just going to be taken out. Nobody on the side of Genji can help him. They're spread too thin. Toby has to go bottom to deal with the waves down there. They're missing so much farm. If he's not there, he's the one who's got TP. That True Shot Barrage is a nice boon here for Genji. Some extra damage launch it, but no vision. Oh boy. Yeah, they just don't have vision. Somebody has to face check. Canyon is barely going to live. A lot of damage coming out from Toby. Hades and from Toby, as everybody's low here on the side of top esports. Another equalizer is going to hit that back line, and now Kareem just flashes forward, looking to get it in. You know what? I think the wallets are just way too large here on the side of top esports as Kareem. Jeez, man, he almost went down as well. As the snipe is going to come in, Toby takes out Cream. Genji just not in a position to trade for Baron. They don't have vision control of the Baron pit. Yeah, they're just way too far behind to even consider that. And directly into all of this AoE damage, they have enough money, so it's working out as this arrow. Ooh, nice dodge from Toby, but he might still go down as Mako's got this angle here. Let's see if he can land this ult. No, Toby's still in a lot of trouble, and he will be going down here, Toby. A little bit too greedy up there in the top lane, and immediately he will be punished for it. That was on my life, Chovy moment there. Just so much greed. You've got to farm. You've got to get out there on the map. But unfortunately, can't dodge everything. As Pay's looking for a pick. Yeah, he's trying to do something, but the arcane shift forward as now Lahen's trying to peel for him. The cleanse comes through. The true shot barrage, though, is going to hit the door as immediately we are going to lose one of our members here. Keen. Looks like Lahen's will go down. Keen is split pushing in mid somehow as all of this is happening. Now he's going to be chased away by the rumble. And he's looking for a steal. And he does have access to this pit, funnily enough, as top esports. Not a lot of health here, but still just tanking this one down. Canyon is going to be pushed away as he is desperate to try to get into the pit, but immediately he does get taken down. That is a Baron on five members of Top Esports. Keen trying to get some of that bounty gold off of this inner. He's so close to it too. Range oh, minions left. I think he will get it. Meanwhile, Pays in trouble over here. Will actually be able to put the pressure on, try to stop some recalls, but he's in danger. <laughs> Pays is just, he is desperate to do anything in this game and you see Gen G playing kind of guerrilla warfare here they're trying desperately to find whatever picks they can but it is just not working I mean this Stop game esports get more this game feels so doomed but I gotta say Gen G doing the best they can with one hand tied behind their back now yeah, well Toby's dead again There's not much he can do about this as the ult is going to hit them in the face and make it as 20 at 26 minutes I mean, they are practically getting Harlem Globetrottered here by Top Esports, but in the last few moments, they've given it their best effort. 
Got some bounty gold. Denied the Baron twice, but ultimately it's still top esports. It's Canyon oh, Insect. Canyon, he's going to find Jackie Love. That is a massive pickoff here as the push was coming in and they're kind of lulled into a false sense of security. Canyon's just going to take down Jackie Love just like that, but he will be taken down himself, I think, although he will flash away and they only get the inhibitor turret. Another true insect, the ward hop to go. Yes. True shot barrage back, queuing this dragon, doing anything he can. I mean, the health bars are top esports pretty low. Toby running out of mana very quickly here, but this is looking good for Gen G. It is kind of insane. This should be going the way of top esports, and in fact, they will get the cloud soul. And Lahens is once again tanking They're everything. They're so low. Up. They are very low as pays. Once again, trying to just E forward, trying to find whatever. In that fight, being a secondary support here, keeping his team alive so Lahens can heal back up as Top Esports using this Cloud Rift to look for a They're pick. So fast. They are just sprinting at Lahens, and maybe finally they will kill this darn Leona as they finally catch Lahens by himself in his own jungle. The eighth time he dies yeah. in this game, it felt like the last time. The reverse legendary immortal. wolf, it returns. <laughs> yeah. And you know, Top Esports, I, I couldn't believe that they haven't already won this game but maybe now maybe now they will put an end to this one they don't even have the baron buff 20 minutes or rather 20 seconds until the baron will spawn the stop esports are looking for two inhibitors before they go for that objective yeah i think they should be able to get it here jackie love firing away Chovy has to do G, a trinket to spot the baron here we go and yeah, the ult is going to be thrown into that back line. The equalizer is huge value, but Lahens once again taking everything up. He will eventually fall. Cream is unstoppable. The true shot barrage hits nobody. Toby is doing insane damage every single time. He gets a rotation of spells off. Now they're starting up this Baron. Well, the arrow is going to sail wide, and once again, Top Esports, their turn is legendary as they are looking for any opportunity. Anybody on the side of Gen G, remember, too, Gen G have those super minions barreling down. They are on a timer here. And they're just going to run at them. The flash comes forward, and I think Top Esports finally get the fight as Pays will go down. Toby doesn't have any hope, any mana. Able to be anywhere near that pit. He's got great wave clear, and they will be able to manage the top lane. But you can see 369 is already prepping the mid wave. He hits level eight. Feels like is that they've realized that they've messed up. They have found out. <laughs> They're like, wow, Top Esports a great team. They're trying so hard to come back in this game, but it's a little bit too much. The, the wallets are just massively heavy as Top Esports are pushing right through the front door, right down in the bottom lane. And that is going to be the third inhibitor going down. As once again here with two minutes of Baron buff, they will be looking to end this game. Clearing the wave as quickly as they can. 369, two super minions coming over. Buying a ton of time is Chovy's wave clear. That Leandre's damage taking through, but there's just too much top esports here. Yeah, there's just way too many members. The Baron buff pushing through the bottom lane. They have a full wave coming through as Genji desperate to try to clear the wave. And they're waiting on that one last Nexus turret to try to take this game down. But it is not looking. Very good. Hands is back up. Esports. One Hail Mary. They're not leaving. So I, I think eventually they will take down this Nexus turret. But a lot of respect being shown Equalizer's from back. Top Esports. That's the arrow. They find Canyon. And eventually this front door will come down. Top Esports. They will throw the narrative out the window. And they say we are the better team tonight. And we will take the 2-0 over Genji. A brick in the gold.